In this video, we are going to see how to use Gauss-Jordan elimination to solve the system of equations. To solve this equation, first we are going to write the augmented matrix. Then, by using matrix operations, we will have a matrix which is called reduced row echelon form. Now, the difference between reduced row echelon form and row echelon form is the entries above the diagonal. You see here, they are all zero. In row echelon form, they are numbers different than zero. So, in reduced row echelon form, we will have the diagonal to be all ones and all the other entries to be zero, which we call this part actually, this matrix, as the identity matrix. So, let's start the operations. Let's see how. If I add the first row to the second row, I will get a zero here, which is what I want. So, it will be row 1 plus row 2. So, if we do that, we will get 1 minus 1 to be 0, minus 1 plus 2 is 1, and 1 minus 3 is minus 2, and here 0 minus 5 is minus 5. Next, I have to multiply the first row by minus 2, so I will get 0 here. So minus 2 times 1 is minus 2, minus 2 times minus 1 is 2, minus 2 times 1 is minus 2, and 0 times minus 2 is 0. So if we do the addition, we get minus 2 plus 2 is 0, 2 minus 3 is minus 1, and minus 2 plus 5 is 3, and last, 0 plus 8 will be so what we do here is, let's draw the row like this, minus 2 times row 1 plus row 3. In the next step, if I add row 2 to row 3, I will get a 0 here. So let's do that. So it will be 0 plus 0, which is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0 and minus 2 plus 3 gives us 1 also minus 5 plus 8 will be 3 so what we do here is row 2 plus row 3 now you see we have the row echelon form as we can say triangle form now what we have to do is, we are going to get rid of these entries, minus 2, 1 and minus 1, they will all be zeros. To do that, first I will multiply row 3 by 2 and add to row 2. So this way, this will be 2, this will be 6, if I add to row 2, I will have 0 here. So it will be like 0 plus 0 will be 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, and 2 minus 2 is 0, and last 6 minus 5 will be 1. Now to make this entry 0, I will multiply the third row by minus 1 and add to the first row. So if I multiply by minus 1, it will be minus 1 and minus 3. And let's add these. Actually, there is nothing to add here, so it will be 1 and minus 1. And in the third row, minus 1 plus 1 will be 0. And minus 3 plus 0 will be minus 3. And the last 
thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this into zero. To do that, I will multiply the second row by... No, I, actually I don't need it because if I add the second row to the first row, I will get this entry to be zero. So if I do the addition, I will have one here. So one minus one will be zero. Zero plus zero is zero. And one minus three is minus two. And what I do here is row two plus row one. So with this last step, I get my reduced row echelon form, which means from the first row I can write x equals minus 2. From this one we are going to get y equals 1. And from this we are going to get z equals 3. The best thing with the uh, Gauss-Jordan elimination is, as in Gaussian elimination, you don't need to go back to algebra and solve and substitute uh, values into equations. You will have your identity matrix here, so you can directly write your values for the variables from the matrix. You don't need to get z to be 3 substituted in the other uh, equations and do some algebra. You can directly write the variables, the values of the variables from the matrix. Now is your turn. Solve the system of equations by using Gauss-Jordan elimination and show me.